Hello, I'm Herman from the CF Engine development team. And in this video, we're going to show how to get started with CF Engine by installing it on an Ubuntu 20 Linux virtual machine in DigitalOcean. Note that there is a written version of this tutorial available in our documentation, which has diagrams and explanations and all the commands you need to run, which you can copy paste. And it also shows you how you can do this locally with virtual machines and Vagrant without using DigitalOcean. The link for that will be in the video description. So, when you set this up, you will be working with the CF Engine Hub running in DigitalOcean, and you will be interacting with it from your development machine. This uh, is whatever you have in front of you. It can be a desktop or a laptop or whatever. It can be Windows or Mac or Linux. It really doesn't matter. What you need is a text editor, a terminal, some way to run SSH to connect to the hub, and some Python tools, which we will install, CF Remote and CFPS, and a web browser. I'm going to be using Windows and WSL, so in my terminal there will be Ubuntu, but you can use whatever you have. With that said, I'm going to open up DigitalOcean, and we're going to start by creating a droplet. Here it's picked the uh, Ubuntu 20 and basic plan. I'm going to choose regular Intel and the $20 per month, 4 gigabyte, 2 CPU option. The region doesn't matter, so I'll pick Amsterdam, that's close. And for authentication, we want to use an SSH key. So if you don't have one yet, you can generate one. DigitalOcean conveniently uh, gives you the command here. So let's open up a terminal and I can generate a key for this tutorial. It has a file name there. I'll use the default. You can enter a passphrase and then you have your SSH public key. So I'll copy the file name here by right clicking and then I'll print it using cat. And then this is the public key that I'm going to paste into DigitalOcean here. And I'll give it the name mywsl workstation. And add that. So now I'll be able to connect to this hub with SSH. Um, Everything here is fine. The only thing I'll change is the name. I'll choose the host name hub for convenience and then create the droplet. Now I'll click the name here, hub, to go to the information about that. And we see that it's spawning. And while that is working, let's start by uh, installing the tools we need. So I'll go back to the terminal. And here, let's install Python and pip if we don't have it already. So sudo apt install python3 and python3-pip. I'll type in my sudo password. And it looks like we will install python3-8. Okay, we got some errors. That looks like we need to run update. So let's do sudo apt update. Okay, there is one error about cubic project. That's not important for this, so it shouldn't matter. Uh, let's run the apt install Python again. Yes. So now it's installing Python 3.8 and pip. Okay, and now if we do Python 3 version, we see that we have Python 3.8. And if we run pip 3 version, we have pip 20 and it's also Python 3.8, so that's good. 
and then we can install the CF Engine tooling. So sudo pip3 install cfps and cf remote. That was fast, both of those are installed. And we can check those as well. So cfps version, version 1.3.3, and cf remote version 0.3.13. So that's good. We have the tooling we need. Now we just need to find the IP address for our VM. So that's right here. I will copy that and go back to the terminal. And then let's test connecting to it. So I'll do SSH. And then root is going to be the username for this machine. And the IP address. And I'll just run the command echo hello. It prompts us, are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes. And that printed hello. So that's good. SSH works. And we can now save this in CF Remote. So let's do C CF Remote save dash H. And then the um, argument here root at this IP address. And we will assign the role hub and the name also hub. So now uh, CF Remote knows about this hub and we don't have to type out the IP address every time. And CF Remote is the tool we will use to install CF Engine. So now we can check that, do CF Remote info dash h hub. And that will recognize that hub is the saved name for that host. It will SSH into it and hopefully print some information about this machine. So yeah, it was uh, successful. It prints the architecture, it prints the OS and some more information. But CF Engine is not installed yet. So that's going to be our next step. We will simply do CF remote install dash dash hub and the name is just hub and then also bootstrap to hub so this means we will install the hub package on this hub machine and we will also bootstrap it to itself which means that it will start running start fetching policy from itself and evaluating and start the web ui and everything will be working This is installing the latest supported release by default. So now it's going to be CF Engine 3.18.1, one, as we see here. Okay, now it's copied over and it's starting the install command. So that's going to be dpkg on Ubuntu or Debian. That's running and installing CF Engine, uh, including the web UI and the file server and everything we need on the hub. And that was successfully installed. It's not now bootstrapping, so it's starting itself. And that was also successful. So that means that CF Engine is installed and running on, on this server. We can see that if we go here, copy the IP address, and then open it in our browser, we'll be redirected to HTTPS, and it says it's not secure because it's using a self-signed search. 
but we can go to advanced here and you might have to type this is unsafe in Chrome uh, and then you can bypass this warning and you get to CF Engine. <coughs> here the default password is admin admin you can click login it will prompt me to change the default password so I'll choose something else you can choose the secure password and I click save and then we are logged in to CF Engine so everything worked So that's the end of this tutorial. In the next part, we're going to take a look at modules and using CF Engine Build and also the web UI. Please see the video description for more information and relevant links. And thank you for watching.